been doing well, but we should watch it. But my real response is that we could, we could be doing better. And um, the reason I say we could be doing better goes back 10 years. Um, when we, um, we had discovered oil already, but we started producing oil in commercial quantity and exporting you know, uh, crude oil and then later gas. Um, that came on the heels of the HIPIC, which, you know, forgave our debt at those, you know, levels. But that economic situation itself was a disturbance of the stability which um, we had been talking since the launch of the ERP SAP, which stopped our negative growth. And until last year, Ghana had never had negative growth overall in any quarter. Now, why do I say we could be doing better? Given the room we had for HIPIC, the economy started expanding, particularly construction and services. <clears throat> then in 2011, you know, uh, from around about 2008 into 2009, when the commercial, you know, quantity uh, and program for export started and uh, President Kufo with the discovery going earlier to uh, President Rollins, you know, and GMPC's activities. We had the opportunity to use oil to resolve certain problems which we had known about the economy. And long and short, you know, we had a long debate about what to do with oil. We got advice from Norway, we got advice you know, from Nigeria, we got advice from, you know, Trinidad and Tobago and others who have had, you know, good and bad experiences with oil. And we formulated the Petroleum Revenue Management Act. I think all the indications are that, you know, and the outcomes show that we were making good progress with one oil field. Um, we set up, you know, let me mention four. We set up the, we put some money aside for future generations from oil. As a nation, you should save. So that's what the purpose. We put some oil money aside for the budget. And we said, given the fact that we were spending too much on consumption and not much on investment, we said the money going into the budget should be said that 30% should go for recurrent expenditure and then 70% for investment, capital expenditure, or development. That's investment, development, or capital expenditure, the same thing. Um, then, and we said, and that took 70% of the 70% after the allocation to GMPC. So that is, we had a problem where we were not investing very much, so we put money aside. We had a problem where we were not saving much, so we also put some money aside for that. Then we said part of the problem with the economy is that it goes through ups and downs. You know, sometimes no fault of ours. Bushfires. You know, that's, we're talking now of the PNDC, the NDC, and, and the experiences they had gone through for that long 19 years before Rollins years. Um, and part of the problem we have had always is, you know, bush, we had the devastating bushfires. After just when we were getting out of, you know, all the problems we had with you know, um, with shortages and all that and the difficulties with the economy. Another problem, for example, is drought. Those days, any time there was drought, it means a Kosovo dam, you know, goes down, the water goes down, we don't generate enough, you know, electricity and power. You know, then cocoa prices, sometimes the shock comes from outside. You have, these are the natural ones. Commodities market, Commodities market exactly, all of those things. You know, so what did we do? We said, look, when the times are good, when commodity prices are high, when the rains are good and we have bumper harvest and, you know, cocoa output is good and all that, gold, um, and now oil, we should put some money aside, right? Well, we had encumbered cocoa money, we had encumbered gold money, but oil revenue was new. So we said, let us put some in a stabilization fund. You see, the name itself suggests to stabilize the economy. And you don't stabilize the economy or you don't bring it back. I've always been saying, 